I think that that orange is just one coat on it. I just want to see what it would look like. But I think that orange is far more effective than the black. Um, as you can see, the one on the far right is uh, it's only had one coat on it. I didn't have enough orange. But I think that's going to look so much nicer against the baby blue of the shell. So, uh, yeah. I just think it's, uh, it pops a bit more. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So this dash is now going to go up to um, uh, to Max and he's going to wire it in with a plug on the end so you can actually take it in and out. But uh, yeah, I'm quite, quite pleased with that. I think that's, uh, that looks quite nice. I think the outside here where it's black, I think I'll probably end up doing that baby blue just to give a contrast. Or maybe all, all orange, we'll see. I think that's much better. So, and this is the painted up version of the, the, the ring that I made. So I'll fit that into the car and uh, then we can fit the dashboard back. So that's another job done. So, so the four of us are, are working on this, stripping this down. So we're now going to pull this pedal box out. This is the custom system that Amir made up. And, uh, he made it in secret so that I can't do it on my own and nobody else can do it on their own. It's called job protection. <laughs> <laughs> secret stuff. Um, but he, we're making up a, a different system. We've got the steering shaft. Uh, where's the steering shaft? Uh, oh, you put it up the back. Where is it? Oh, it's there. So there's the steering shaft that we have at the moment. And what we're going to do is, is there's quite a bit of play in the in the bottom one. So what we're going to do is change it. And what's this out of, Amir? Yeah. You think a Ford or a Volkswagen? Volkswagen. Mark II Golf. Mark II Golf Volkswagen. You can see how much stronger that, that uh, joint is. Universal joint, so we're going to put that one in instead. Ah, that stays on. Yeah. Oh, Very clever. Yeah. Why is your filter so bad? Because it's like a grease on it to stop the ah. micro dirt getting through. Okay. So now. Is it the wrong one? Yeah. That was another thing as well. We, we make some of the nuts and some of the things that there were different threads, so you have to be careful to put them back in. So you can slide this out now. You can see. You can just slide it up the up the system. There we go. There's the screws undone, aren't there? Just see that. Yeah. Your side. Somewhere. Ah, uh, the, <laughs> the cable, the, the throttle cable. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Got to do the throttle cable. Okay. Hang on. Okay. How's that? Take more out. You can pull it now because the cable was wrapped around the radiator. Just take this out. Yeah. Just what it, what's in there? A split pin? Yeah, it's... Uh, I'll come around the other side. So... Let's see, that's all the arse end off it now. Let's go. Who's going where? I can sit in the truck. Right. <laughs> okay, you ready guys? Yep. Okay, so... Set, well, what do we need? We need a, uh, you mean project? Yeah. 
yes. Just to finish. Just to just leave it in and leave yeah. the tractor off. Okay. Oh. Just to finish this fill it in. Yeah. How long do you need to fill out all this stuff? Okay. Really? See, that's the engine and the box and the subframe <coughs> all out. Um, and uh, the other cars, the shell is down now where we're going to paint it. I'll take you down in a minute and show you that. Uh, there's the rear subframe. So the red mini's on here now, um, getting ready to take it up to the guy that owns it for the test. You can see we've put these Rover road style wheels on it because the ones he wanted on it are, are bigger than the arches so hopefully we'll go through the test with these on it they look a bit Mickey Mouse but uh, trying to fit another arch on there is very difficult well, it's not difficult but it's very time consuming so we're not going to do it and Amir's just working up all the engine and the interior for next week uh, yeah and uh, and get all this other stuff sorted at the same time. So, let's give it a good clean as well. So I'm just going down to the flower garage. <coughs> I have to put the sides back on this trailer and fill it with all this crap that's lying here. So you can see, we've got the mini shell down. And we're going to paint it in here, in this big tent. But you can see it's on the on the uh, jig now. Uh, the only screw up we had, we can't use that, we have to bend that leg because we forgot about that box system that we made for the uh, master cylinders to go in. So obviously it can only fit on one side, but it's only to paint, uh, clean up and paint the underneath and inside and then we'll take it off the jig and paint the car on that little mini trailer I've got here. This, this is a garden trailer basically. We'll put it back on there and paint the, the whole thing in baby blue. <coughs> and uh, yeah, but it's uh, it's easy to rotate it on here for painting the underneath of it. So everything just got a few bits and pieces we have to tidy up, but uh, get it all done and then just move this across. There we go. So yeah. We'll get it painted. There's plenty of space in here. There's a bit of air going through. And uh, the problem with the wooden garage is we have the pergola under this one. Uh, it's empty at the moment. Um, but the problem is, oh, the tractor, little tractors in it. This is a nice place. We were going to actually make this into a uh, a booth, uh, but unfortunately, there's water getting in. You can see there from up here. So what we need to do is, is take the pergola down upstairs and uh, re-roof re it, refelt it or whatever and then put it back on. So that's a job that might, we might get done at the end of the summer and then we could line it in here. But to be honest, the amount of paint jobs we do, it's not really worth it, I suppose. I'll think about it. But yeah, so this is empty at the moment. Just this little one, John Deere sitting here. Um, but this is where we do most of the welding and cutting and in this big one over here which is more of a storage but i think uh, i think that's a big much big enough area to to paint it in i get a few flecks of dust so what it's a track car i'd like it as nice as possible but you know is it that important and we just wet the floor down quite a big area in here so so that's it um so we started 10 o'clock this morning and I think by two o'clock we'd stripped it. Um, and then we and then we just put it down here and put it onto the jig. So hopefully within the next 10 days or so we can get this painted, get it back up and then put it back together for the final time, I hope. And on that note, I'll say stay safe, keep the faith and enjoy your hobby. And uh, catch you in the next one. Take care.